The Simpsons has an airy knack for predicting the future. From Donald Trump presidency to U.S. beating Sweden for an Olympic gold medal in curling. Here are 14 times the long-running comedy series got it right. On the episode Lisa Goes Gaga, Lady Gaga is shown suspended by cables flying over the audience at the concert. Well, surprise, surprise, because of the Super Bowl halftime show, Gaga descended from the stadium roof with suspension cables, wearing pretty much the same outfit on her episode. In a 2010 episode, Milhouse predicted that Bengt Holmstrom would win the Nobel Prize in economics, and sure enough, in 2016, Holmstrom and Oliver Hart were announced as the joint winners of the prize. In 1993, an episode titled Springfield, magicians in a Siegfried and Roy-like show got attacked by their trustworthy tiger. In 2003, Roy was attacked by one of their white tigers during a live performance. He sustained injuries, but lived. On the 28th season premiere, the satirical series made an Arnold Palmer joke. On the day that golfer Arnold Palmer died, Homer Simpson tells his wife Marge that he plans to Arnold Palmer, his pal Lanny. Arnold Palmer Lanny. Marge responds, you are going to Arnold Palmer Lanny. He was of course referring to the lemonade and iced tea drink mixer, which was named after the golfer. During the 2000. 2020 election, a voting machine proved faulty. When votes cast for Barack Obama went to Mitt Romney instead. In a 2008 episode, Homer Simpson went to the voting booths to cast a vote for Obama, but his vote went to McCain instead. In a 1998 episode, The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, Homer writes out an equation on a chalkboard, which, if solved, you get the mass of a Higgs bason that's only a bit larger than the nanomass of a Higgs bason actually is, says Simon Sike, scenes author. In 1994, an episode titled Sweet Seymour Skinner Badass Song, the lunch lady was seen reaching into a barrel labeled Assorted Horse Part and putting the meat into the school's lunch pot. In 2000, 13. It was reported that traces of horse DNA was found in beef products across the UK. The now basically extinct but once popular video game Guitar Hero was first released in 2005. But in 2002, the Simpsons episode Mick Jagger and Keith Richards give Homer a jacket that says Guitar Hero printed on the back of it. The virtual reality game Farmville was all the craze in 2009 with people rushing home from work or school to tend to their farm. In a 1998 episode, The Simpsons shows a scene where kids are excited to play in a yard work simulator. In season 2's episode 18, Brush with Greatness, Ringo Starr from the Beatles is shown responding to fan letters while saying, They took the time to write me, and I don't care if it takes me another 20 years. I'm going to answer every one of them. Well, two women in England received a reply to their fan mail from Sir Paul McCartney 50 years later. Sorry, Apple, but The Simpson had smartwatches first. In a 1995 episode in which the show is set in the future, Lisa's husband is shown speaking to a phone on his wrist. The first smartwatch wasn't created until 2013. Back in 1998, a quick scene in The Simpsons showed 20th Century Fox as a division of Walt Disney Co. And in March 2019, Disney completed its 7 1.3 billion acquisition of 21st Century Fox films and TV assets. In 2010, Homer and Marge beat Sweden and took home an Olympic gold medal for Team USA in mixed match curling. As the animated sportcaster said, open your history books, tear out the pages and put this inedible Olympic moment in. In 1993 episode, the Japanese factory worker accidentally spread the contagious Osaka flu to Springfield, and in the town, people rushed to find a cure. They accidentally knock over a van with killer bees inside. The spread of murder hornets in America has conceded with the coronavirus in 2020. The coincidence was first noticed by former Simpsons writer Bill Oakley. 
in an episode from 2000 titled Bar to the Future that flashes forward to the future, Lisa becomes the first straight female president and takes over after Donald Trump, who ruined the economy. In the 1993 episode Margin Chains, Springfield Mayor Joe Quimby gives a press conference announcing there is a pandemic happening and letting the residents know he didn't escape to the Bahamas. It's later revealed that Quimby is just wearing a suit from the waist up and is actually broadcasting from a bench in swim shorts. Fans notice it. It's an almost identical situation to Texas Sen, that crew's recent escape attempt to Cancun.